that this year's Mark Matthews Service Award goes to Brighton Jones and its co-founder, John Jones. And um, I'm super humbled to be up here. How about a round of applause for the staff at Child Haven who really do the work? <laughs> so like John mentioned, uh, our mission statement is to help our clients, colleagues, and the community live a richer life. And, and for us, the richer life really means um, a happier life. And that's different for everybody. Uh, we, we actually believe that the Dalai Lama had it right when he said, if you want others to be happy, practice compassion. If you want to be happy, practice compassion. And so for us at Brighton Jones, it's, it's, it's our North Star. And ultimately, what our company's about is the pursuit of happiness for our greater community, our employees, and our clients. So I was thinking back to what I wanted to say tonight, today, and, and it reminded me of a visit that um, Gretchen and I had at Child Haven, and I wrote some. I wrote it out so I just I wouldn't forget the details because it was really uh, quite remarkable. So Gretchen and I were standing outside the infants' room on a tour, and we were looking through a window, and it was a, it's a one-way mirror. And inside the room was a young mother who was feeding her baby, and next to her was a child haven child haven uh, specialist. And the person giving us a tour said what they're reminding the mother to do is gaze into her infant's eyes to help her build the connection of emotional connection that so many of these kids don't get. And this, this simple form of intimacy for this mother um, just doesn't happen unless they come to Child Haven. And for this mother, she probably didn't have that when she was growing up. And in that moment, for Gretchen and I, it's probably ending the cycle of abuse and neglect for that child. And it was an incredibly powerful day. So on behalf of my entire team at Brighton Jones, we're just proud to be part of the story of Child Haven. So thank you.